Hi guys, for today's midweek devotional, we are going to be talking about fellowship. What does fellowship mean? It simply means coming together and being with people that are also believers of Jesus Christ, other Christians. So we're going to look back at the very first church in Acts chapter 4. Around this time, the Holy Spirit had poured out on all these people. This is the story of Pentecost. There was fire on people's head. People were speaking in tongues. It was incredible. And on top of it, they met together all the time. Chapter 4, verse 24 of Acts says, When the believers heard their report, they raised their voices in unity and praised. Prayed, Lord Yahweh, you are the Lord of all. You created the universe, the earth, the sky, the sea, and everything in it. And then in 32, verse 32, it says all the believers were one in mind and heart. Selfishness was not a part of their community, for they shared everything they had with one another. This is such a cool story because the Holy Spirit had just been poured on them, and so they lived in unity. Do you guys know what unity means? It means being like one. So sometimes when you and your siblings fight and you argue over little things like who gets the last piece of cake, that is not unity. That could be called disunity. But unity is when you work together and you think, maybe we could share this last piece of cake. And this is what was happening in the church. They put aside any arguments that they had. They put aside the fact that these people were coming from so many different places, so many different cultures, and they worshiped God and they saw God as the creator of everything and so good. So we can look and we can ask ourselves, how are we coming together with other believers? Are we coming together as one and putting aside any differences that we might have? Are we purposefully going to church I know that right now it can be hard. Sometimes you guys aren't at church yet. You guys might still be only watching online, but there's still ways that you can find to be with other believers because that is so encouraging. I know that when I started coming to church and I started helping in kids church and I went to youth group and I went to main service and I started playing in orchestra, I felt so encouraged because I was with believers all around me. And these believers were from different areas. Some were way older than me, some were way younger than me, but we could all come together and share our love of Christ. So as we conclude this week, we're gonna pray that God helps us to have linked arms so that we can be with other people and we can grow as a church. So Lord, help us to spend time with other believers to find ways, even if it has to be something different, like through a phone call, Help us to link our arms together and to see your unity so that your love can flow through us. We thank you, Jesus, for working in our lives. Amen.